Hello there. Alright, so what you want to do is go into the, a uh, multiplayer match. Yeah, go on options. Anyway, yeah, public match, controls, options, controls, and scroll down to customize interface. But, um, yeah, just go into a multiplayer match and um, just find a hiding spot so you won't get killed. I guess it doesn't really matter because it's not like Modern Combat 2. It won't reset everything you were doing. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so that's how you customize your interface. And I actually have a big fail right here. But it's because I put the uh, sprint button behind the res a button, and so now I can't get to it. Well, actually, I did figure out how to get to it. But at first, I was like, oh, no, now I'll never be able to move that. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, uh, quite a few people were asking about this. I know a lot of people do, but a uh, few people don't. So here, this is for them. This is how you customize your controls. Um, the... You can even look around while you're doing it. Um, you can up at the top right, and then the reloading button and the the radar and some the pause and everything. You can't move those, but the essentials, you know, the aim, shoot, sprint, jump, and move D stick and everything are all they're all like that. Occasionally, you'll get respawned after you get killed, and it'll just show like the aim and the fire button. But that's okay. Just just uh, pause and then customize the interface again. Okay. So that's the that's that tip. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it was informative. And also if you missed um the last video, I said I wouldn't be here or be able to post uh this weekend, but uh yeah, on next Monday I'll be able to post videos again. So, see you guys. Mm -hmm.